you missed it or not. For example, we had a big conversation about when Chema throws up. And it was the idea that he was literally regurgitating an old life. He had to regurgitate that old life before he could move on to a new life and become a person who's open to love because he came from such a loveless kind of cold place. In terms of Jay's name, and correct me if I'm, um, um, well, if I'm correct, but I believe what you do on a movie, I need you to correct me if I'm wrong. I thought he was drunk. No, 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 no. I believe this is a true story that, uh, if I remember correctly, because it's been a really long journey, is that you do a temp track, you know, before you actually pick your final music. Um, and uh, I believe it was our editor, Radu Ion, right? Who threw in Hallelujah. Am I right, Radu? He just threw it in. You know, we were, we were, what? He took me out of the editing room and said, he said, let me work on the ending. And I was out, outside his room and he was, I heard the song and I really, he was not matching to me. I was like, what is this crazy guy doing? Because I don't understand what he's doing with this song. And when he showed me the sequence, I was like, oh, wow. Well, but then there was, you know, the idea that we might, uh, you know, find, there was, a, for a minute, there was a conversation about Baby getting an original song, um, and I said, no, it's such a beautiful song. I, you know, in the editing we watched the film over and over and over and over again, but each time it still made me cry, and it's really a credit to Rodney for having picked that song. But then, of course, I found that I wanted to find out who is the singer of this, and then I found that he was dead. So that wasn't going to work out really well for us. So we were really frustrated because, you know, Fernando tried not to lose hope. So many times he'd come to me with this amazing optimism. Here's, here's another singer. And these were all artists that were on labels, by the way. And we would sit in the hamburger hound on Sunset and he'd open up his eye and say, listen to this. And I'd go, oh my god. And then he'd bring me another song and another song, and they were some named people who will remain unnamed. There was one which just belted it out, and it didn't have the subtlety and nuance and cadence that Jason Castro gives the song. Um, but what so happened, I went home frustrated, depressed, what are we going to do for a singer? And I think I was listening to Laura Brannigan on YouTube, because I'm like a YouTube junkie, and I took a second, and I entered the word Halloween. I didn't know what would come up, and uh, forgive me, Jason, I wasn't watching American Idol then. <laughs> and suddenly, I see this face of this guy with dreads, and I click it, and I'm going, what's this? He's singing the song. I go, oh my god, that's amazing. And then I called up Fernando, and he went, that's amazing. But then we thought, if I said, Fernando, don't get excited. After I got him excited, I got him depressed. So I said, American Idol, I have to imagine, is very proprietary with their singers. It's going to be impossible. So Mark Weike, our music supervisor here, was amazingly instrumental in getting Jason. You know, contact Mark. Or he's hiding. It was a recording artist of his own. It was recorded on Arista, I think. Check out his YouTube. I'm such a YouTube junkie. It's called The Boghead. Check out, it's like amazing. The Boghead, sorry, forgive me. I'm very sleep deprived. So, Mark helped us. He contacted American Idol. They got, we got them footage from the film. And they said yes. And Jason, they showed it to Jason and he said yes. And then we asked him to come next. We thought it'd be fun. It was for no other reason. We loved working with Jason. He was so professional, such a joy, but like chain out his life. It's like your dream actor to, to watch him on the set. He just takes it. You know, it's there's no drama or diva going on. So okay, <laughs> Do we have questions from the audience?
Yeah, yeah, there's one back there. Yeah, go ahead. I love the movie and I love the MP. Was there ever a debate as to what uh, the MP not on my part. <laughs> Fernandez was over our dead body, but there were people who were like, oh, but you'll never get, no one's watched the film because it would be depressing. But we were like, we were steadfast. We never wavered.